he just he go he does pretty good until he kind of gets his mind off, and then his first reaction is just to a step. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to let you try this. Right there, just back him back up again. There, see how much easier that was. Now, when you're ready, just go ahead and just good. So if you do this every time you come in to catch him, mm -hmm. just back him off a couple times. It'll get to where it's really good. There, now he's standing nice and quiet. So go ahead and just ask him to come up and pet him and then you can see if you can back him up again. Now, see how he didn't resist you that time to come in? Yeah. Because we petted him last time. Now, if he gets pushy right there, just back him back up. There, right there. You just want to pretend you've got about a four foot circle around you, that that's your personal space. And when he invades that, you just back him up. There, see how that time he thought about yeah. it and then he just stood? I didn't there. have to shake it as hard either. Yep. And now see how his head's coming down? If you notice, anytime he's respectful, he gets up here like this and starts rooting at you. But mm -hmm. if he gets his head down here, then, then he's relaxing. There, see how he's, he's kind of hesitant. He's going, ah, no, I'm not supposed to step in there. <laughs> okay, so now just go ahead and turn away from him and just walk off and just see if he'll follow you out without any resistance. Now, if he tries to walk on you, right, like right there, See how he just walked all over you? So just go ahead and let's walk him back in again. And if he gets if he gets close to you, just bump him away. See, this is what he does when I try to get him back in. Okay. So once we get him, yeah, see I can tell he's never had anyone really send him or anything. Yeah, I've been trying where I make him go in a circle and then I point him yeah. kind of. So here's what I would do with him. If you, if you get after him and start yanking and pulling, he'll just reap it if you go like this. And the more we, so I just, just put steady pressure right there. As soon as he takes a step forward, you release him. Now literally, you watch this in just a second, he won't do that anymore. I can see this could be a trailer thing. So what we've already taught him with that, with that, with this, mm -hmm. that if you give the pressure, it all goes away. Okay, there you go, see that? Now, that was a perfect thing for him. Mm -hmm. So he has no, res no reason to resist it next time. Yeah. So watch this. better and you watch watch how he quits pushing on me right here okay we'll yield him around every time you do this without resistance there see that now I'm guessing that he's kind of pushy with you whenever you're walking him around. See, watch where he's staying with me now. Yeah. If I put him back on that, now if he gets a little, I can always just do that too and push him back. You see the difference in him? Mm-hmm. Now this time I don't think you'll see any at all. So if he's doing this to you, all you have to do is just stand there and just walk him in and out three or four times and just make sure that he, if you let him resist you once, he'll resist you again. Mm -hmm. So this just needs to be just an everyday thing for him. Just, okay, yeah. we're going out. There, see that? God, that's a beautiful animal. A little better? Yeah, a lot better. Now don't look back at him, just walk. The other thing people do is they turn around and look at him. Mm -hmm. And any time yeah, you I turn and look at a horse, looking at him. that puts him on, they're going, okay, what's, what's up? If you just turn and walk like you're normally walking, he should come right with you. They're good, that was perfect. Now when you come in this time, don't, don't just leave the slack in the rope and just walk in and don't look at him. Nope. I have a problem looking there. at him. <laughs> there, see that? You had no pressure on that rope at all that time. Nope. 
Okay, so already he's 100% less disrespectful. Yes. Good. See, anytime you do that and he doesn't, and you don't look at him, he won't take any offense to that at all. So already he's just going, oh, this, this feels pretty good just to follow. Now just walk in. There you go. You got him. Nice. So he acts like he's throwing a few fits right there coming back in. Uh-huh. Now this time when he comes back in, just let him stop right here and just pet him on the forehead. Let him know he did good. Nice. Lots better. So you can see this is really all about you. Mm -hmm. You got if, if you give him clear cues and you give to, you know, put the little pressure and then release him, pretty soon he's always going to look for you instead of having his own so little agenda. You can practice going. this without the bit too. Like if you take this halter and you take it off him, I'm not going to put this halter on it. I'm going to let him put it on. Mm -hmm. So he's, now if he does that, you just kind of dig your thumb into his cheek or something, okay? But I'm never going to walk up and just put this on. Watch what happens. If I just set this here, okay, <laughs> he hunted the halter. Uh -huh. So what we do as people is we try to hurry and get the job done, and then they start doing this, and then it makes it worse. Now I'm not going to let it, I'm not going to take this off until his head's pointed towards me and he's relaxed, and then I'll drop this off. Okay. So if I want to put it back on, I'm not going to reach up here and put it on. I'm going to see how he stuck his yeah. nose in it. So you just don't be in a hurry. And don't ever put it on or off as long as it's he's moving around. So if he's got his head up, I'm just gonna tip his head towards me, rock it back and forth a little bit, and he'll bring it down, see that? And then drop it off. Now if he's out and around other horse, like say we're out somewhere, we're gonna do a ride with a bunch of other horses, and he's just like, what's going on with, you know, how do you react to that? With so him? the beauty of this whole foundation is, is if he's out there acting like that, Put him on a lunge line, make him work for a minute. Okay. Get him paying attention to you and that'll go away. Okay. So watch this. There. And then you can just scoop his nose in it. God, he's so much like Brumby, isn't he? <laughs> Always gotta have something in his mouth. Uh-huh. Okay, do you wanna grab your bridle? Yeah, sure. What what kind of bit do you use? Um the guy gave it to me. It kinda has like a U shape it's in it. It's got a shank on it. No. Okay. Let's look at it. I'm an O-ring snapple bit guy, so. Okay. So, All over the place. So we it. need to work with him because I could I could have almost told you where he does this a lot. Mm -hmm. What kind of bit you were using? Okay. That is an extremely harsh bit. Yeah. So use it and tell, but come to, and let me show you what an O-ring snapple was like. Because O-ring snapples aren't made to for vertical to pull on. They're made lateral. And so if you can get them nice and respectful with an O-ring snapple. In fact, I ride my horses in these. If he goes to eat, that's a bad habit. Just stick your hand, just kind of see right where I'm at, right in his yeah. cheek right there. Just lift that until he comes up. Now watch this. See how he doesn't want to put his head anywhere else now? Mm-hmm. If he does, you just bring him back. See, now he's almost trying to pull the bit in. Okay, so he's way better right now, but he's yeah. still Yeah, he resistant. still needs like a constant. The other thing you can do, so we don't run into that same problem, is you can put these over his head. Put your reins over him. So if he does try to walk away, you can just pull him back right here. Okay. And that works too. About to lose my stuff here. So see right there how his first reaction, he wants to go to the hay, mm -hmm. you just bring him back to you. Anytime you reach for him, because he's going away, he's getting away with something. Yeah. 
So this is just a respect thing. He's learning to respect me right now, even though he doesn't want to. Just pull him back up. And every time we do this and do it right, and don't let him do his agenda, Yeah, he's not even throwing his head there. anymore. Okay, see that? So we got the whole job done with him, with his head right here. Never fought him at all. So the more good experiences he has with this, he just goes, I don't want to fight that. Yeah. It sucks. So to take it off, just bring his head. There, when it comes down, then you can just drop it. there for me that time. Mm -hmm. So now it's just about his mouth. It's not really about him throwing his head. So every time you do this right, it oh, becomes yeah, a lot easier. See, he almost put that in his mouth uh -huh. by himself. So that's not going to be a one day fix. You're going to have to work yeah, on this, but every time he does that, I bring him back to you. Right here. Okay, so I promise you in about a couple of days, we can have him standing here just as quiet as could be putting this mm -hmm. on and off. Every time he tries to move away from you, that's disrespect. You just bring him back. Pressure goes away when he comes right here. Then watch. Okay, just hold it there till he relaxes. There, almost. So this bit's been a real bad thing for him for a while. Yeah. So see, every time I go to release it, he pops his head up. So I don't want to take it off until he'll just stand there. Every time he raises his head, I'll just keep it there. Now, when I feel like he's relaxed, there. You see the difference? Yeah. So if you rush through it, that's when he's gonna start fighting you. If he backs up, let him back up. Just follow him. See this? As Soon as he stops and relaxes, I'll take it away. There. So it's the release. He's going, I've had such bad experience with this, I'm just going to fight it so I don't have to accept it. Now watch. Every time he fights it, I just leave it there. As soon as, he, as, soon as he'll relax, that'll just pop right in his mouth. He's not good yet. Yeah. <laughs> It'll take a little time, but see how much quieter he's getting now? Yeah. To let it in and out. It's just so taking the time we'll to do it to... over and over. Okay, so you go ahead and come haltering. Now just hold that up and just let his head come down to it. Just and then he'll kind of put it on himself. And let him see that. There. He came down, he wanted to chew on it, but as long as he puts his head down there, now just there. And then just slide it on. I promise you after a couple weeks of doing that, he'll just go whoop and he'll just slide his nose right in it. Yeah. Yep. And that like I said, that's all. He'll hold his head anywhere you teach him to. So kind of work on that a little bit. So right here with these right here on just on the edges of his nose right here. And you can do it with one or the other or both. This was the best way to do it. But if you if you put your hand up here, they've got a little bone right here. Mm -hmm. It's about three inches wide. Have you felt that? Yeah. So just put your thumb and finger on each side of that. And you just put a little bit of pressure. If he doesn't move, put a little bit more. And as soon as you see him give his head down, you release it. Okay. And he's learning that same as everything else. As soon as you release it, that's telling him that's where you want his head. Yeah. So right here, I'll just pressure a little bit. If he fights it, you just keep it there. As soon as he drops it, you let him down. Pretty soon, you can touch him right here, and he'll just drop it for you and keep it there. See, even already, he, he's see how he keeps dropping it? Yeah. That'll also help him with the head throwing thing. And he throws his head. I'm not going to put it on. See that right there? He's trying to throw it off. So I'll just bring it back here. As soon as he relaxes, I'll take it away. And watch how relaxed he gets if I don't force it on. Then 
when he does relax, you can go to here. I'll just hold it there till I feel him relax. See, he's looking to, to grab it, and I'm yeah. so I'll just hold it kind of below and wait for him to quit moving his mouth. Wait for him to relax. Almost he did it. Okay, so right there when you get it to his mouth, is so I'm so I won't put it in, I'll just hold it there. See how he's just kind of looking to get away from that? Now I didn't force it. So every time he fights, I'll just keep it here. This will take you some practice to do yeah. that. Just hold it. There, when he relaxes, it just falls, falls right in his mouth. But you can't, if he's moving around like that, it just turns into a train wreck. Yeah. So you have to, you have to let him kind of relax. Now, I'll tell you this too. The more you work him, loading him, riding him, doing all that, if you do this right, this will just kind of fix it. So this horse has a little resistance getting in the trailer. We saw it with the going in and out of the gates. Um, so we're gonna move him around a little bit and make sure, see how he's kind of, kind of got his own little thing going on. So we're gonna move him around a little bit and get him to where he pays attention to us. Make sure we can move him around without pulling on him. Um, this will be all his idea instead of us pulling him um, before we ever introduce the trailer. Cause honestly, this isn't really a trailer problem. This is a disrespect problem we've seen it already. Mm -hmm. So if we can get him respectful first and then start introducing that, then you'll see him just pop in there and it's not a big deal. But right now, everything you do to him, he's going, I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I want to. Yeah. So we'll just get him to where we can move him around and, and get him really comfortable. Then we'll start taking him over there. So so what I'll do first is, is uh, now if, if you'd gone through this whole program, we would have done this right from day one in a round pen. Mm -hmm. But what I like to do with him is I like to just reach up and point. So if I want him to go, if I'm going left, I'll point with this hand. If I'm going right, I'll switch and point with this hand. Okay. We don't ever want to always use one of these to get things done. This is just kind of an extension so we can get started. So if you always use this for motivation, you're always gonna need it. But if I point first and then I cluck or kiss to him, whatever cues you use to get him to go, and if he goes, great, you don't use this. If he doesn't, you can reach out and tap him on the butt. And we'll just kind of get him a nice slow trot right there. Now, when he's doing the right thing, see how he kind of pushed into me? That's that disrespect. So as he goes here, I'm just gonna let this rope kind of, he acts like he's had some. Yeah, he has. Got almost a Western pleasure jog, which is really nice. So every time I point, if he quits, or if he slows down, I'm gonna point, put him back on the trot. Because we want him to go at the speed we want until we ask him for something else. God, that's a really slow jog. So we'll just let him kind of travel right here for a second. If he gets too close, you can do this and just push him out. Okay. Okay, now if I wanna change directions, I'm gonna pull him I want his hind end to move away from me. There, like that. And then he can relax. This will fry your brain for a minute. Yeah. We'll, we'll get you doing it, okay? Okay, so if I want to switch directions, I just switch hands with this and I point up this way. Okay, he went that time so I didn't have to do anything with the stick. You see how he's kind of looking around and he's kind of in la la land and all that? Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons that you don't get a, a really good response from him is because he's not totally paying attention to you. Do you know what to look for to know if he's listening to you? What? See how his ears, see how his ears going that way? Uh-huh. Now watch, when he's paying attention to me, that ear looks right at me. When he loses concentration, it goes out. So you can kind of look for that. Okay, I'm gonna yield him this way. Whoa. There, that was pretty good. Okay, we'll switch directions again. See a little resistance in him right uh -huh. there? He's going, so much guy, this dude's making me work. <laughs> okay, now I'm not gonna, we'll try this real quick before we have, to, we'll only work him what we need to, but what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna kind of start fading towards that trailer. And if he'll go up to it and sniff it, 
we'll just let him do that. So now we've taught him to move off this. So now I should be able to just tap and relax. As long as he'll move forward a step, we'll let him, there's his resistance. So every time he does that, we just put him back out here and work him a little bit. If he'll come back up, There, see how he's getting better at coming forward? Mm-hmm. Now watch. Okay, see that right there? He's investigating the trailer. My guess is he's hard to even get to here. He stops right here and puts his yeah, head Yeah, at first he would go up to it, and then when he realized I was trying to get him in it, yeah. nothing. So the last thing we want is for him to feel like he's being forced in here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll back him up. I'll say, I don't want you to get in there. Okay, and then I'll ask him to come back up again. So as long as this is where the pressure goes away, all of a sudden he goes, this place isn't so bad. Yeah. But what most people do is they get in there and they try to pull him in and they're looking or they get behind and start, and then they just throw a big fit. This has to be his idea. Mm -hmm. If you try to force him and he's already wondering what's going on, it'll never work. Okay, so I'm just gonna see what he'll do right here. If not, we'll spend a little more time out, but. Okay, so every time he resists, we'll just ask him to go forward again. Okay, we'll just work him right here. See, he's used to getting to that point right there and then somebody quits him. Mm-hmm. Whoa. There, there's the good forward. Yield him. Yield. Now we'll just ask him to come forward again, let him relax. So you see, anytime his head goes down, that's a sign of relaxation and this isn't so bad. But yeah. every time he's like this, that means I don't want anything to do with that. So we've just got to get him to where if I ask him, his first reaction is forward, not backwards. All those little things he's doing right now, I don't let him do it. Yeah. Then when he gets up here, it all goes away. See what happens, people get him to here and then they put more pressure on him. I like to keep less, mm -hmm. as long as he's not leaving. Okay, let him relax right there. So really the goal isn't just to get him in so you can get out of here and go riding. Mm -hmm. Because that's what most of they go, okay, shut the gate. Yeah. You know, and then we're done. We want this to be something he does the same every single time. Okay, see what he's doing right there? Now he's eating off the floor. 
but he's being quiet. So mm -hmm. I'm just letting him kind of, now if I want him to take a step. So we'll just pick up the pressure. He doesn't like pressure, we can mm -hmm. see that. Stand on the edge here. <clears throat> so this right here is where he goes, God, every time I do that and resist, I go to work. Mm -hmm. And we're not, we're just letting him travel. But all horses are fat and lazy if they want, if they can be. No, you gotta keep going. See how he's looking for relief right there? Uh huh. So I'm just gonna take him between here. Let him kinda travel between. So he's not afraid of this trailer. He's just being snotty about mm -hmm. it. Same look at it that time. Okay, so we're just gonna fade up there again. See, now we got his knees against it, mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're gaining. <laughs> okay, there's two feet. Okay, now, last thing I want to do is put him in. Mm -hmm. We're just going to sit here and we're just going to, we can get him halfway again. See, now he's getting to the point where he knows if he resists, he's gonna have to work. So he's mm -hmm. kind of reasoning through that. Okay, if he starts going back, we'll put him back out here. That's a lot of weight to pull around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big boy. So the last thing we want him to do right there is get clear in. I'll just, I'll just let him get halfway, then I'll back him out, mm -hmm. and then we'll work. See how his resistance getting less to me? Yeah. So what, so the thing we want to happen right here is every time he goes up to that trailer, it's nice and quiet for mm -hmm. him. Should never have to beat one or smack him or anything. This is just a respect thing. See how he's shaking his head? Yeah. So now I'm kind of working on some rollbacks, making him kind of really move his feet. That was nice. He's pretty athletic for a big horse. Uh-huh.
today. Now I'm not going to load him. I'm going to ask him out. And then we'll do this again. See if he'll go back. This right here is where he's learning. He's part way in, so just tell him he's beautiful. Kiss him, do whatever you gotta do. Okay, when he comes back out, we'll just load him back in there. Pressure comes back. Bring him right back up and let him rest. Okay, now I'm gonna ask him to get out this time. See how he's wanting to be more patient here? Uh-huh. Now watch this. I'm going, no, I don't want you in there. It's a little bit of reverse psychology with him. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just let him turn the circle right here. Now, see where his ear, ear's pointing? Uh-huh. He's going, wait a minute, if I go over there, I get to rest. Okay, we're just gonna back him right back out again. He does back out, I guess, right? Yeah, as far as I know. He may not. <laughs> okay, now watch. Okay, now right here, you give him all the loving you want. Mm -hmm. Because now he's sitting in here, he worked out there, now he gets to sit in here and just be a horse. Now look where he stepped in right there. Like it, it, it looks like to me that he's been mold, or turned around and let to come out. I would back him out if yeah. I were you. That's why. Yeah. So we'll just get him used to this. Now the cool thing, the more you do this, now watch. Okay, so back in. Back out, so I'm just gonna ask him to go back in. Okay, so he was nervous backing out, so we've mm -hmm. got a little bit of, so we'll just get him back in again. You're all right. Scary backing out, huh? Okay, so resistant. Let go. Pressure comes back. Okay, so every time you meet resistance, you just put him back out here. Do that, you gotta come forward. Okay, 
Okay, he backed out. Emery, throw that stick to me. So, the reason we use these is because I can't reach yeah. back very far to tap him. Most of the time, the ones that show the most resistance, when they get this, they're the best. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Definitely got resistance, doesn't he? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, he's looking at the trailer now. The other reason you do this halfway on, halfway off, is because he, if he hasn't backed off when he's all the way in, that can be pretty. So if you start halfway and let him get used to that movement. Mm -hmm. So one thing you're gonna have to be, at least for now, he does wanna come in here and turn around and they'll squish you if yeah. he does. So what I'd like to do is just get him standing here quiet for a minute. So he gets on all right, but then he gets dancing around. That's probably, you said your friend's horse does that too. Yeah. So what I would do is as long as he'll stand in here, I'd pat him. Cause he's not comfortable, he got in, but he's not comfortable yet. Yeah. This right here is what'll make him comfortable. Okay, so if I wanna back him out, as long as he's sh showing that nervousness, we'll let him get the nervousness out out there and let him rest in here. Now I won't force him to back up, just ask him to take a step at a time. I don't think he's done this much, so we're no. teaching him. But I'd really rather not even get in the habit of squishing you like that. Yeah, that's what scares me too, is I don't want to get squished. Okay, there we go. We'll just let him kind of feel for it. Okay. So now we'll just ask him to make it circle or two. What's gonna happen, the more comfortable we get him in there, I'm gonna circle him around, he'll just jump in. That's what we're kind of hoping for. Mm -hmm. So out here, it's a little bit of work. Out in here, he gets to relax.
every time you see that resistance, you can't win that tug of war. There's no, no. way. <laughs> It almost flies me through the air every time. <laughs> no. Come on. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. He's not comfortable backing out, so yeah. he's... See if we can... I don't want him running over me, so I'll just kind of bump him away. Get in and you'll get to rest, I promise. Well, keep working. Oh, you could have ordered a 70 degree day. Right? <laughs> Look, it's quiet right there.
And it doesn't matter if he sits in here for 45 minutes and rests. If you go outside, you just run him in a little circle and pop him back in again. See how he's moving off this now? Yeah. That's a little improvement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You ready to try it? Sure. Okay. That was a tough one. <laughs> Let's just back out, guy. He's not hard to hold here. I would just, you know, just keep your, if he tries to turn his head, you just start straightening it back out. But I like how he's just quiet back yeah. out. A lot of them will charge out, and that's just as dangerous as getting in. So, all right, so okay. here we go. Okay, so I would just keep this if you need it. Keep him about here. The thing okay. you don't want to do is when you ask him to go in, you don't want to be holding him here because he gets part way in and then it puts yeah. pressure and he thinks you want him to stop. Okay. So give him plenty of room and just step up. Don't let him go between, you know, step right there to the edge of the trailer and just point up in like this and just swing this if you need it. Okay. Okay. And I'll just, I'll walk through it with you. Okay. So put that in your switch hands right there. So point with the, there, just like that. So ask him to come around. Just don't let him cut you off right there. Okay, now just kind of get a little assertive with him. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, Pretty he's nice. not shaking or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, boss. Now, he's still got a little bit of, I'm not sure I want to be in here. Yeah. So every time you bring him in, just rub him, pet him, curry him in here if you have to. I don't even care if you give him a little treat once in a while in here. I'm not a treat person. Uh-huh. But if you are, reward him when he does the good thing. Okay. Don't reward him trying to get him to do yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you back him out, just now, so see how you're holding him there? Mm -hmm. Make sure, I mean, you can correct him if he tries, but don't ever hold one, just let him stand there and rub Okay. Him, okay? Now, when you want him to back out, just put your finger right here, and it'll only take like two ounces of pressure to start him backing up. Notice how his biting's kind of gone away too a little bit? Oh, he yeah. tried a little bit right there, but. Now, that's 1,300 pounds melting in your hand right now. <laughs> okay, now stop right there and just point to get back in. Just point at the trailer. Nope. There you go. Nope. You're all right. Did you hit yourself. I'm sorry. Good boy. Good boy. A little better? <laughs> so since the dawn of time, we have tried to force a horse in a trailer feed them. You get guys behind them, try to push them in. They're already claustrophobic. Oh so when you start, when you start putting pressure, they just fight more. Look at that. Yeah. He's got it in him. And there's some other stuff. I'd like her, we do clinics in Norco all the time. I'd like her to come down and, and do the whole foundation thing sometime because all of this lunging and stuff that I'm doing, you teach them that stuff and then they're just, they just melt for you. But if you're against them, you'll never win. Yeah. Got him nice and sweaty on the chest. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try to just let him, now that he's back a couple times, he knows I'm not gonna force, I'm just gonna, remember how we were asking for those little steps? Yeah. Same thing, just let him take a step at a time. Let him get his feet under him. So he's feeling for the back of the trailer. He doesn't know where it's at, so. Uh -huh. Okay, now what I'd like for him to do is hop back in because he got to rest. Way better. Yeah. Good job, buddy. He's a fighter. <laughs> he got he got a lot of resistance in him, oh, but yeah. like I said, usually once they get this and they get to stand, it's all over after that. 
and every time we back him out, he's just going to get that much better at it. Now, now that he's done it a few times, he's going to rush less and less each time. What I'd like to do is be able to just get him back in as he... Sorry. back in, I'll rub you. So you can see with a horse like him that's been able to push and push and push, it takes him a while. Yeah. And most people give up before they get it done and then you're just, you know, kind of making the problem worse. So. Yeah. so if you notice, you saw how he was dancing around in here and shaky and all that. This is pretty comfortable for him right now. Yeah, now he's, he's just standing. There's worse smells in the world than horse sweat. <laughs> Put that on video. <laughs> okay, so when I want him to back out, I'm just, I mean, look how light I'm doing that with my finger mm -hmm. and just asking him to come out. Now, I'm going to see if I can get him to walk back up right here. Okay, so see how the resistance is going away now? Yeah. So now that we know that he can, we'll just let him back up a little bit. And then I'll say, no, come back in and get scratched. Okay, and this is where his comfort spot is. Okay, so we'll back him up a little. Let him get used to that coming forward again. I won't let him get out yet. Okay, now come back forward. See that? So now we should be able to back him out and then have him come right back in. Okay, so I'm just gonna ask with my finger. He should not come out unless I put pressure there to have him come out. Now, see how less tiptoe he is now? Yeah. Now, that time he came back in on his own. <laughs> so we're, we're getting what we want now. So I'll get him, see if I can get him part way out. I don't know if he'll do that yet, but. <laughs> now this is getting pretty fun. There we go. Nice. So anytime you can get one from going out halfway and coming back in, then you're getting what you want out of it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and back him clear out. Now you see how little pressure I'm putting on him? He's just figuring it out. <laughs> it's going, no, I'll stay in, it's okay. So now he's learning just a little bit of pressure puts him in or out. Watch. Now this is pretty fun for him right now. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job. Okay, so let's go clear out this time. <laughs> That's a good problem to have right there. 
Okay, so see how he's not wanting to bail now? Uh-huh. I could probably just go like this and he'll come back in. licking and chewing. Okay, so we'll let him go ahead and back out. Good job, bud. Okay, now watch. Wow. A little better? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fun when they yeah, finally do it. Uh -huh. like you're going for a stroll. Remember to point with there. Yeah, there you go. Just reach, come back here and reach over and just kind of swing that forward. There you go. Just let him walk a circle and walk right up to the trailer now. Got it. Pretty cool, huh? So as a trainer, I can tell you, I see so much resistance in him still, yeah. but I'm a freak, you know? I mean, I like to have him perfect. Yeah. Um, but everything that we can show you to do with him will help him in every single way with, with just being more respectful. But that's a huge change today. Oh yeah, So for sure. I appreciate it so much. <laughs> It's pretty fun when they start doing it. Yeah, even just getting them out of the stall and stuff. Yeah, and I've been doing this 30 years and I told you about the thoroughbred. He's mm -hmm. my second hardest one I've done. <laughs> and, and it wasn't that he was that bad. He just had a lot of resistance. And yeah. he, he didn't like someone saying, no, you're not gonna do what you want. Yeah. And that's all he was doing. He wasn't being mean or trying to hurt anybody. He just, he just wanted to have his agenda instead of mine. See how he'll stand there with you now? Yeah. Now if he does now you just walk just up and just point to that trailer just like you're like you've done it a million times. Good boy. Before, like, he would look at it and he we'd start doing no Yeah, way. and there's no way she's going to win that tug of war, yeah. or you or I would. Yeah, no, she's tiny. Yeah, she, she gets thrown around. <laughs> get, I, I can see him throwing her around, and, yeah. and and he was resistant. I mean, to rear up like that stuff, he's, he's had a lot of resistance, and, and all of this training, the whole natural horsemanship thing is all about that. It's about to get rid of that resistance and let it be Babe, their can you take video of me take, taking him in? You what? Can you take video of me taking him in? Yeah. Hey, do me a favor while we're doing this. Come and walk him in his stall, and then let's go from the stall to the trailer. Okay. Now, remember how he was resistant going in the stall? Uh -huh. Watch this. That's my favorite phrase now. Watch this. No, I'm thoroughly impressed. It's really fun to, to get him doing that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I've yeah. been around thousands of horses, and he's he's what I when I buy a horse or breed a horse, that's what I'm looking for right there. Yeah, she was looking for a horse for quite a while, and we found this one locally. We were looking in Texas, you can yeah. go everywhere. Yeah, that's what a, a nice. difference. Yeah. Now switch hand. Make sure you're you're in the one you want to point with. There you go. Good. <laughs> that's awesome. I just want him to climb in and go, yeah, I'll stand here all day. Yeah, one more time. Watch this. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Good job, yeah. buddy. Yeah, it's, it's a learned behavior most of the time. I mean, horses are naturally claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you show them that it doesn't have to be, but if you force them in, then they're going, oh crap, I'm already uncomfortable. Yeah, it's a system. So. Yeah. 
So this is the other thing with this that I like. Now, I don't know if you're out here when I was telling her, but a lot of times horses will load with a person. But if you try to load them without, they depend on you to get them in. And that's why I like this to be something where you just throw the rope over their neck and they climb in and stand for you. So I'm guessing if you walk over there again and just toss that and walk in with him so you can get him from turning around. Uh -huh. But just point up there and throw that rope over his neck and then just walk in with him. Ducky. Switch hands right there. There you go. 